Hello, my lovelies. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of Xenia corals, a favorite among hobbyists for their mesmerizing pulsing movement with rapid growth. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned aquarist, understanding how to care for and manage these corals is essential. So let's dig in. First off, what are Xenia? Well, Xenias are soft corals known for their rhythmic pulsing polyps, which create a dynamic waving effect in your aquarium. They come in various species known as the pom-pom Xenia or the Xenia elongata. These corals are often among the first to colonize a new reef area and can add a lively touch to your tank. So as far as tank conditions, there are a few tank parameters that are important. First off is lighting. Moderate to high lighting is preferred. Xenia rely on photosynthesis, so ensuring they receive adequate lighting is crucial for their health. Next up is water flow. Low to moderate water movement is ideal. Interestingly, Xenia pulsing motion helps facilitate water flow around them, so excessive current isn't necessary. Next up is water quality. While they can tolerate a range of conditions, maintaining stable parameters is key. Aim for a pH between 8.1 and 8.4, and make sure to keep salinity levels consistent, as Xenia can be sensitive to sudden changes. Let's talk about their growth and propagation. As amazing as Xenia is, there are what many consider to be a downside. Xenia are notorious for their rapid growth, which can be both a blessing and a challenge. They can quickly spread across your tank and sometimes overtaking your other corals. However, there are a few ways to help manage their growth. First is gonna be isolation. Place Xenia on an isolated rock or areas where they can be easily controlled. Next up is gonna be regular pruning, removing colonies as needed to prevent them from encroaching on other corals. Whenever I need to remove Xenia, I just firmly grab them at the stalk and then try to peel them off as gently as possible. Sometimes I can get under their stalk with my nail and gently try to pry them up from the rock. As far as propagation, if you're interested in Xenia, the easiest method is to just let them grow on their own and then remove individual stalks, like I said before, with a peeling them off of the rock. You can then attach the removed stalk to a new rock or a frag plug. I like to use rubber bands to attach the stalks and remove the rubber band once they fully attach, usually one to two weeks. Then they are perfect to trade or sell them to your fellow hobbyist or your local fish store. While Xenia is generally hardy, Xenia can sometimes struggle to thrive and we don't fully understand why. One of the biggest things we don't seem to understand is their pulsing behavior. Sometimes when you add Xenia to your tank, they can either stop pulsing or even start pulsing. The exact reason Xenia pulse isn't fully understood. There are thoughts that it helps with oxygen exchange or perhaps some unusual feeding process. We do know that factors like water quality and lighting can influence this behavior. The other issue that we see is a sudden decline of Xenia that can look like them disappearing or even melting in the tank. Occasionally, Xenia colonies may experience sudden die-offs. Some have theorized that this is a coincidence with lunar cycles, although the exact cause remains to be a topic of discussion among hobbyists. I will say in my personal experience, I have certain tanks where Xenia thrives and some where it just melts. Even though I feel like I'm providing the same exact needs in both tanks, even I don't fully understand what's going on. Now, if you wanna learn more about Xenia, make sure to visit our website where we have more than 120 articles from beginner to advanced. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And remember, happy reefing.